right in the front here. This is a perfect question to end with. What's the future for Degrassi and stuff? You, you probably would know because once Netflix picked it up, I thought, oh, good, this is going to continue on. And then where's, where are we going from this point? I don't have an answer for you. <laughs> I, I, I don't really know. Um, is it dead? I'm no longer involved with the show. So I, I, mean, I don't think the show is really happening right now, so there is no position to be filled. Um, I don't think that means that Degrassi's dead, but um, it is definitely not uh, going to be happening anytime soon. I think uh, even if they were to bring back next class, those kids have grown a lot, and I think that there's a possibility, but I don't think we should be expecting anything in the near future. It's a shame. It's like it's because Stefan, like Linda and Steven, who are our executive producers, created from the like very yeah. beginning and so like, birth the show. Yeah. So she isn't like she sold it, no. Well, she's still executive producer of the show, and and trust me, they have a lot of ideas of what they want to do, and it's just a question of. Uh, I think it, we got a little lost in, in, in the world of Netflix a little bit, even though our thing, I think the show is fantastic. I think Next Class is like just as good as any other Degrassi, you know? And, and uh, but I'm, it's, I think the algorithm didn't work for us because if you watch Degrassi, it would send you to Full House, and I don't think we're the same show, <laughs> you know? And I think I was like, why can't, why wouldn't you, if you pulled up Riverdale, then you would get Degrassi, you know? I think that's a little closer in, in, in uh, um, tone, but, um, Needless to say, I think there will be another Degrassi. I think it's like Star Trek a little bit, where it can be sort of reborn over and over again. So. You know what, this is going to sound crazy, and I know these guys know nothing about this, but I've been trying to find other ways to reinvigorate the brand. I've actually been in contact with DHS Media a lot in the past year, and I've tried to do something as much as like a graphic novel, a comic book series of the show. Um, I've tried to do an animated version of the series. I want to try to find some way to bring this show back. It may not be live action right away. It could be a different format. But I think every generation needs their version of Degrassi. You know, it's a friend. It's a friend of the audience and him. You guys have told us, you have taught us that the show means something to you and you're willing enough to fly in from Los Angeles and Chicago and come all over the country, North America, just to see us. And um, that just shows us how important the show meant to you. And I would love to be a part of bringing that back. And I think by doing these tours, it just keeps the name alive as opposed to just being forgotten. I will say this, I've read some stuff that exists that would blow your mind. And I don't know if you'll ever see the light of day, but it's like, it would blow your mind. And you never know, there's always an opportunity to see what would happen, but uh, um, yeah, it's honestly, it's one of those things where it's so hard online when we talk to fans, and like they, they constantly are asking, where's season five of next class, where's season five of next class? And I just, I really don't have an answer, unfortunately, so. Well, we believe in the show, we want it to survive, and we want everybody to enjoy it, and that's what we're gonna fight for, to do our best to bring it to you.